the Institute of Contemporary Art was founded actually in July of 14, before I got there, um, by some very visionary uh, philanthropic uh, leaders in the Miami community who felt that this piece was missing. And it launched in temporary space in December with Art Basel of 14. And so literally today we are celebrating two years of programming. But even before our exhibition program, we launched in July with our outreach program and education because we led with community engagement. Um, so then we launched our exhibition program. And at the end of the Thomas Weiler exhibition, which opened this week, um, we w which is his first US museum survey, and we like to say that the ICA is a place of firsts, <laughs> where firsts take place, um, we will go dark in April. And we will open a brand new facility that we built ground up uh, in the design district in Miami. Um, that will be about 37,500 square feet as a building with over half of that building, almost 20,000 square feet devoted to exhibition space. The building is designed by the Spanish firm Arunga and Igalegos, um, and they have never built a project in the US. So again, a first. Uh, it will have a 15,000 square foot sculpture garden designed um, by Jonathan Kaplan out of New York in partnership with a local landscape architecture firm, um, Fernando Wong. Uh, so we're excited about that. They haven't done a museum yet. Uh, and we are, we've announced our opening exhibition, which is called The Everywhere Studio. We wanted to lead as we open the new space with artists. And so The Everywhere Studio is a decades long, I think it, the earliest pieces in the late 50s through today, through current practitioners, look at how artists either predict or respond to modes of working hmm. and how that has changed both through the advent of technology um, and artistic practice and cultural production over, over time.